Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is a coloring book review flip through for Legendary Landscapes Coloring Book Journey. This is done by several different artists and um, there's a space in the back of the book that goes through the artists individually in here. So I have to zoom out pretty far to get the whole book in the picture. So I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can zoom in at all. That should work. So um, this is this is a really cool book, and I really like this. This is up there on my fantastic coloring book uh, list. So let me go ahead and get through this. I got this on Amazon. And this is a massive book. This is 12 by 12 inches square. So it is a full square foot. As you can see, the size of my hand compared to the pages on this book is just massive. Now I have another coloring book review um, for the Legendary Landscapes coloring book, the edition that's one-sided. Um, this is the full edition. This is the bigger edition. That other edition is smaller, much smaller, and it does not include all of the pictures that are in this book. So if you're going to buy one on Amazon, please read it very carefully and make sure you're not getting the one-sided edition unless you want that. But it does not have all the pictures in it. Um, it has half of, of what's in this book. But it is about half the price, too, so... Um, that would be up to you. Uh, the paper quality in this book is it's decent. It's uh, kind of a light card stock kind of paper. Um, it would be good for gel pens. Watercolor would work on this if you don't use a ton of water. Um, colored pencils, crayons, uh, probably water-based markers. Um, I'm not going to say definitely water-based markers because I've not tried them on here, but I think that they would do just fine. I don't think that they would bleed um, through if you use them carefully. Like, I wouldn't be going over it and over it um, with, with the marker at all. It will bleed through then, but if you're just doing, like, a light kind of stroke on the page, um, it, it would be fine. Um, I would not use alcohol-based markers on this book unless you don't care about the other side of the page, then that would be fine. One thing I did notice about um, Legendary Worlds, which is the other book that, that these people have done, um, is you definitely need a blotter page on the back side of the page that you're coloring, because the ink will come off on the other page. I always feel like that's important to know. I usually have a blotter page no matter what coloring book I'm coloring in, um, but just in case you don't usually have that in there, that is definitely well advised for this book. There are some really neat pictures in this book, and there are a ton of artists that help with the illustrations in this particular book. And I think that's really neat. Between the two, if, if you're going to get one, um, and you don't have money for both of them right now, I would go with Legendary Worlds, um, which is not this particular book. It has a bit more creative pages in it, I believe, um, personally. 
That's my own opinion, but um, I really like this book, too. I'm not saying anything negative about this book at all. It's a fantastic book. Um, I, I personally just prefer The Legendary Worlds, and I do have a review for that one as well. Please don't forget to subscribe below and leave a comment. Tell me, tell me what, what picture in this book you're looking forward to coloring. Um, I think it's always really cool to hear uh, what people are looking forward to, to being creative with. I think that's pretty cool. Um, this is the section of the book that has um, the different artists. There's seven different artists in this book. And it has a little bit about each artist below. Um, they've even given the anonymous artists uh, a goat head picture. I think that's hilarious. Uh, being that he's anonymous. And it tells um, each picture and who did that drawing. And it gives the last name, so you can kind of flip back and forth and see who has that last name, and you can kind of tell. Um, it either goes by the last name or the first name. Um, they're all kind of different. So, um, And then it also gives the title for the page, the coloring page itself. And there is no test page in this book. However, um, a lot of times when books include a page like these, um, I will use these as my test page because the ink on these pages is the same as the ink um, throughout the coloring book itself. So you're going to know how your medium does with the ink, with the paper, um, if you use these pages as uh, a test page. So here is the back of the book. Scoot that over and zoom in just a little bit. Uh, back of the book. This is a really thick book. That's a pretty thick book. Um, front of the book. And here is the spine. So again, if you're thinking of getting this, the only place I could find this um, book was on Kickstart. Uh, Kickstarter kickstart whatever it's called and amazon and i don't even think they're selling it anymore on kickstart so amazon would be uh my place to go so thank you for watching and happy coloring